my guy, Ed Frather, the number one trusted real estate team in Colorado. You can reach Ed and his team at edprather.com. All right, we talked previously about the three Ps. Now we got to prepare for market. All right, Ed, walk me through it. What are we talking about? Well, absolutely. And, and I, I'm glad that we talked about the three Ps because I'm going to mention them a lot. You know, sure. we are considering them at every point. And of course, that's price promotion in the property itself. When we're preparing for market, a big part of that is getting any and all repairs, big or small, done. You know, you and I talked about it. And sometimes this can be sort of difficult for, for sellers. I know it was for my wife, but, you know, we're decluttering. And we're yes. depersonalizing. I mean, you know what it's like to, to oh. prepare a home. I mean, a big part of this is purging. You know, unfortunately, you know, it, it, we've seen that you know buyers need to be able to picture themselves in the home. And if we got a whole bunch of of, of stuff everywhere, it it just doesn't present the way we want. We want them picturing themselves and the, their family if that's the case. And so, not only are we decluttering depersonalizing, we're doing our repairs, but then we're going to stage the property the best way possible. Sometimes that means bringing in staging furniture. You know, in your case, you had such nice furniture at the home. It was just setting it up and making sure that, you know, the orientation of it, when people walk through, they just absolutely fall in love. And I'm so glad they did. Yeah, me too. And that was tricky too, because like, well, how much do I sink into a repair? Like right. we had an issue with our front door. And sure, we could have done some crazy stuff. I mean, it would have been thousands and thousands of dollars. But we kind of met like halfway. We did a repair that made sense. And listen, the new homeowners are probably going to want their own thing anyway, right? So why kill yourself with something that might be replaced? We had an issue with some um, stuff in the ceiling, too. And some just wasn't like it was falling apart. But like we can we can repair it to the degree that, hey, if you want to do a better job, go for it. But frankly, it'll be fine just as is. And totally. having your advice with that, Ed, that meant a ton because, sure, you could have just said, yeah, sure, $5,000 this, $8,000 that for, for what purpose. But, but we didn't go cheap either. You know, there, right. there was a fine line to walk. Well, absolutely. And it comes down to that return on investment and time. And, you know, the other side of that, we're doing our best to support that, you know, as far as, as um, you know, connecting you with with contractors, checking in, just w whatever we can do to help. And then, you know, we talked about price. And of course, you know, we haven't circled a price yet. But to that point, we're watching the market really closely. And I, I think we need to be super clear about what I mean by market. And if you look at the Denver metro area, uh, Sure, it's it's interesting and provides some macro level um, metrics and data. But, you know, we are looking extremely specific. We're not talking zip code. We're talking neighborhood and house by house because we need to understand, hey, for one, what kind of uh, inventory do we have? If a buyer is out there today, you know, what are they going to see that's active on the market? And how does it compare when they walk into your neighbor's house? versus your home. And so we're right. watching really, really closely because all we need is, is a comp or two in the right direction. And right. then all of a sudden that pricing can go up. So, you know, we had talked about, hey, here's the range we think we're in. And you, you guys said to us very clearly, hey, here's where we need to be. Here's where we want to be. Here's what the home run is. And that's, of course, our intention every time. Yep. And, and then we watch and watch and watch because it would be foolish to try to circle a number two months before we hit the market. In fact, usually we're setting a price just a few days before we start our coming soon to make sure that it's in line with the market and what's going to drive the most traffic. Okay. Um, once you get to that point, it's time to make the house active. We'll get to yes. that part coming up as we continue the Ed Prather selling series with my guy Ed Prather at edprather.com, the number one most trusted real estate team in Colorado. The excitement of getting the house on the market. Oh my God, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a trip. We'll get to that coming up next.